what's good everybody my name is Jay Fatty welcome back to another video today we're gonna talk about the versatility of fruity low filter now the last video we talked about the difference between low pass high pass and band pass filters now we're gonna talk about fruity low filter because it is all of that and more so let's get right into it so fruity low filter you can use this thing for anything intros sauce up your choruses or your verse breaks outros pretty much anything all right to affect your beat or your song you could put it on vocals make it sound really good you could put it on anything it's like hot sauce okay so we're gonna play a little bit of this beat this is a beat that i produced with the homie eighth all right he's super dope with it okay i'm gonna link him down in the description So now you got a little vibe of the beat. We're going to talk about really what you can do with a Fruity Love Filter. Like I said, there's so many uses for it. So if we just throw it on the master for right now, so we can just get a, a feel of how it sounds with everything. All right, so then we're going to go to the default preset. So right now the filter mode that it's in is called the Chocolate State Variable Filter, all right? So that is very interesting. You can put this in a low pass, high pass, other different versions of low pass and high passes, and you can put it in band passes as well. We'll go back to that initial part, though, the initial chocolate state variable. I don't know why it's called that. That's an interesting name, but it does give it a nice sound. So most of the time when you're messing with these patches, you can really worry about the envelope, the cut, and the resonance right here. All of these knobs you can link to a controller and automate them so it's really sauce now you got other stuff here that's gonna mess with the LFO okay and the cutoff envelope so if you have it off you don't you won't even be able to use these controls but if you go into single dual triple alt dual and alt triple they will all have different sounds now keep in mind you also have presets like we talked before if we just go through you can see different things happening there's a lot of different areas you can mess with you can mess with the panning and draw in different automations for it you mess with volume cut resonance you can mess with the low filter settings band filter settings high filter settings and more or there's a wave shaper there's all sorts of stuff you can do with these little settings here but like i said these presets really add a lot a preset that i like to use a lot of times is this pc low pass plus phaser okay it's going to give it a really dope sound if we listen to it See, that sounds really nice. It gives it like a bounce. There's a lot more presets that do some things like that will give it more of a bounce. And you can mess with the effecting of it over here, the modulation of it over here. So if we play it and move this around, you'll hear a difference. lets you get creative with it and even a crazier thing that you can do is you can have more filters on top of the one that you have so like right now there's two because it's this main filter plus a phaser you can add more and just edit each one of those as you see fit and get some really crazy sounding stuff okay so now we're going to go into the example portion of the video and i'm going to show you different ways you can use this so one of the first ways obviously would be for an intro you can choose whatever preset you like do whatever settings you like but I would recommend highlighting the intro area as I have up here. I have these first four bars highlighted. And I'm going to link the cutoff and the resonance to a knob on my controller. It's very easy. Right click, link to controller, and then move that knob on your controller. See the cutoff is linked now, and let's link the resonance to another one. Just like that. Now I'm going to create an automation clip for this intro, and we're actually going to start these both. We'll actually have the resonance up and start the cutoff low because we're going to have it kind of fade in. It'll sound really nice. 
what we're going to want to do is on this highlighted area, let's just put an empty pattern because that's where our automation is going to set. All right, now what we can do is go back to the Fruity Love filter, go up to the recording, and do notes and automation. And after we do this, it's going to start recording, and then we can mess with our knobs to automate something really nice. So now that we got some automation like that, let's actually go back into that mixer, go to the Fruity Love filter and bring the mix level down and create an automation clip because we only want that filter to be active during the intro. Another use is spicing up your verse slash chorus. So if we highlight this main area and throw another Fruity Love filter on, bring it up about right here, this X and Y setting, mess with the cutoff and the resonance and the envelope. If you want more of that filter bounce, you can mess with this X and Y setting. Just want it subtle, we can bring it up here to the top right and bring the cutoff open a little bit more so it's not as many frequencies being cut. And then you can bring the resonance down too if it starts to sound really piercing to the ears. But if you have it on there, just subtle, like a nice subtle filter, if we create an automation clip for this, we can even mix it in. Uh, not even the full way like we don't even have to go 100% we can bring this automation about 75% Just copy this come over here to the other end Do the same thing So it just be a little mix of it in there We could even automate it to have it be more in some areas and less in some other areas like this. It's kind of a crazy automation going on. Once again, you can do it for a break as well. It'd be the same as the intro, you just automate it differently. Instead of having it fade in, you can have it come in, you know, 100% and then fade out a little bit, fade back in, and just, you know, get creative with it. Same thing with an outro, but have it fade out instead. But really, it's up to you and how creative you want to get with it and how much experimentation you want to get with it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. A longer video, but I really wanted to talk about the versatility of Fruity Love Filter. If this video brought you value, please leave a like, hit subscribe, and hit the little bell. Make sure you stay safe, stay striving, and always be getting it. Much love, y'all. Peace.